So the derivative of a step function is a delta function and we will utilize this thing. So I can write that d, let's say this is, uh, this is a step function d psi over dx. Then another derivative of this, this is now a step function. If I take another derivative of this thing, d over dx, then it is behaving like a delta function and I write delta x here. And about delta x, we know that this is the delta x is basically, as we know here, that integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, the f of x delta x minus a dx, this thing is equal to f of a is a is between minus infinity and plus infinity. So the value comes out to be f of a and we will utilize this thing and similarly in the same problem we are having uh, this thing is the derivative of a delta x here a step function is behaving like uh, a delta function so this d psi over dx is behaving like a delta function so if I take its another derivative its derivative like this d by d, d psi over dx is behaving like this so d over dx will come out to be delta prime of x the derivative of this thing and delta prime of x I know that this is equal to minus delta x this is also from this problem part a of this problem I am having this so I can write that this thing will be d square sine over dx square. This thing is uh, a little bit uh, tricky than how the function converts into this one. So I will have to uh, write the first one. Look here that this is delta prime of x. Delta prime of x is equal to minus delta x. So it means if I am having this thing, then minus of this thing means the limits are being interchanged. So it is from 0 to a over 2. So I will consider the limits from a over 2 to 0 and then it will be okay. So here, first I will put the limit 0 here then it is a and delta of x will come out here. So we have, uh, this is only the change of limits is giving us this thing. So d psi over dx equal a and I will write a here and then I will write for another d psi over delta x minus delta x so I will change the limit so it will be a delta x minus 0 which is uh, delta x basically x and minus 0 here and then I will write minus now for the next limit what I will write for the a by 2 means it is from basically from 0 to a over 2 but is this is minus delta x so I will have from a by 2 to 0 so for the 0 I have written this one then a over 2 0 so this will be minus this will be a over 2 the minus so I will have to put the minus symbol this minus symbol is basically this one and a and delta x minus a over 2 here and then this is for this one for the this x is 0 in a over 2 limits and then for plus the next magnitude is this one minus a 
and then is this one is from a over 2 to a so i will consider the limits from a to a over 2 due to this minus delta x so i will put the a over 2 here and then minus a into delta x minus a over 2 and then plus this will be again this is minus a so we have plus and then minus a and then the next limit will be delta x minus a here so we have found d square over uh, d, d square psi over d x square and this is uh, something that was required for all the calculation to convert the function the d square psi over d x square into a delta function so we have successfully converted this into a delta function so this thing these two terms basically adds up here so we have d square psi over d x square equal to a delta x then minus a and minus a so minus 2 a and delta x minus a over 2 and then minus a delta x minus a so we have converted the d square psi or dx square into the delta function successfully so we have now to write the final expression so let me start from here that t is now equal minus h bar square over 2m and I will write 1a here because that is coming out of the psi conjugate while the other a which is with psi I am writing inside so it will come inside and then this thing is equal to minus h bar square I will have to write for psi of x the two limits first with the delta then for the two limits with means for the delta x minus 0 first then for the x minus a over 2 and then for x minus a so it will be equal to from 0 to a over 2 and a x delta x d x then plus the integral from a over 2 to a and it will be a a minus x and delta x d x so this is the one from 0 to a over 2 and from a over 2 to 0 for delta x I have written then minus 2 a minus 2 a and we will have the next this is delta x minus a over 2 so we have from 0 to a over 2 and then 0 to a over 2 a x delta x minus a over 2 d x plus a into a minus x okay this a i have taken out because i have written it with this so i will have to uh, i am writing it here so i will not write it here because it will be doubling then then minus this will become plus and then a into a minus x delta x minus a over 2 and this will be integral from a over 2 to 0 and this is our next this will be with dx 
So it is our next integral plus another integral will also come in for this and here I am writing uh, minus outside so minus here and then our integral comes in and it will be minus a so minus is outside in ax from 0 to a over 2 ax delta x minus a dx and plus a over 2 to 0 a and then a into a minus x delta x minus a dx and we are closing here bracket. So we got three integral means is the wave function has two parts. So two parts for delta x, two parts for delta x minus a over 2, two parts for delta x minus a. And now we are putting the values. So the t average is coming out to be is a is common with all of them. So but let's say we go on as it is as we have written to m here then what this integral gives here it is x minus 0 so x minus 0 0 is between these limits so we will have to put x equal to 0 so when you put x equal to 0 here then we get 0 here when I come to this one then this is x minus 0 so 0 is not in between these two limits so it means whatever is here it will come out to be 0 then I come in here minus 2 and then this is a over 2 so a over 2 included here here in the limits so it will be a a over 2 a and a over 2 then plus this a over 2 is in this limit so we will have a a a over 2 so a minus a over 2 2 a minus a so a over 2 here so a a over 2 here plus a a over 2 here then plus minus here this one and we have a and here this is x minus a so a is not between these two limits so this one gives us 0 then this is a a is between these two limits and when I put x equal to a so a minus a 0 so this is again giving us 0 here and we are having this so this one minus 2 and here a a a over 2 and this half half becomes 1 so this is minus 2 a a and we have minus here means this will come out this whole will come out to be minus 2 a and a and when this minus 2 multiplies here then we have plus minus minus become plus here and then let me write it here so we have t equals minus minus become plus so h bar square over 2m and then it will come out to be 2a a squared so 2a and a squared and we know the value of a squared the value of a squared is equal to 12 over a cube so this is 
equal to h bar square over 2m and 2a into 12 over a cube. So we have this a is gone with 1 here, so a square remains while 12 twos are 24. So we have the t average equal to h bar square. I'll write this one first 12 into 2, 24, then h bar square over 2m a squared. So we have uh, 24 edge bar square over 2 and a square uh, and this is this is the this is the value of did we got for the average uh, kinetic energy or the average Hamiltonian the expectation value um, I don't know why in the book it is calculating this equal to 12 this calculating is 12 because when I do my calculation it is coming out to be 24 still if it is 12 or it is 24 because we know that the EGS the ground state energy for such potential is equal to pi squared h bar squared over 2 m a squared so pi square value is coming out to be 9 point something and 12 is greater than that one so it means it is the upper bound or it comes out to be 24 with me so it is even above that one so it is yet an upper bound and we can write here that yes the value we got t is greater or equal or I mean this is Hamiltonian this is greater or equal to EGS so it is greater than that one so we have uh, solved the problem here the example 7.3 and it is of a uh, step potential uh, infinite potential in the state of the wave function is triangular.